hope y'all are having a magical day. So today I thought I would share with you guys an updated pin collection. Y'all know that I have been collecting... <coughs> Lovely. Y'all know that I've been collecting Disney pins for quite a few years now. Um, I did an original pin collection like way back when, before my first college program. And then I did an updated one after my first college program because I had really gotten into pin trading and I had acquired a lot more pins. Um, now it has been probably about two years since I've done that video, maybe a little more. Um, I have, again, acquired a lot more pins. Um, I really got into pin trading again this time around, especially because my roommates and I um, ordered one of those like big bulk pin packs off of eBay, which I had never done before. So I had lots of, you know, uh, not really keepable pins that I wanted to trade um, and I did a lot of trading and I also bought several pins so I have quite a large pin collection now it just keeps on growing um, but I thought I would share with you guys an updated version so you can see all of the new pins that I have so you guys will notice that this is a little different from last time um, last time I had all my pins in a box, in my memory box from my CP, because that was just the easiest way to store them while I was on my college program. They, I, I had them in that box again for the first little while, but when my parents brought all of my stuff from home down here, I had a nice little bulletin board that had nothing on it, and I thought, hey, you know what, this way I can display my pins, um, and I can actually enjoy them and look at them rather than having them just kept in a box. Um, so I will take this down and give you guys a little bit of a closer look, but this is what it looks like currently on my bedroom wall. Ooh, come on camera, focus please. Alright guys, so I'm going to try to show you these to the best of my ability. Um, obviously my camera is not the greatest, so hopefully you'll be able to see them. It's looking a little blurry right now, but I'll try to zoom in uh, so hopefully you can see them. But this is kind of an overview of them, once again a little bit closer up. I have them semi-organized. Obviously I have like collections together um, and the rest are kind of grouped loosely in categories but I will just start at the top. So at the top, oh come on focus, I have these two universal pins I got on my first program. Um, obviously you will be seeing a lot of pins that I had already but there are some new ones as well. So these are my two universal pins. Um, I have one from Harry Potter uh, this is the Hogwarts Crest, and then I have one from E.T., and these were from one of my good friends on my first college program. She gave these to me for my birthday. I guess we'll just kind of move along. So these ones are kind of, like, places, I guess. I don't really know. Again, I tried to organize them as best I could, but I have the four parks, which I absolutely love because it's got the hat on there. Obviously, there's not a lot of hat merchandise anymore, and I always loved the hat. Next, I have the 60th anniversary pin for Disneyland that my parents brought back for me because they went there for their 25th anniversary, um, and they brought me and my brother back each a pin. Then we have this one. I actually am not entirely sure which castle this is. I think it's well, I think it's Shanghai. I'm or not Shanghai. Um, I think it's Tokyo. I'm honestly not positive. Um, but let me know if you guys know in the comments which castle that is, um, but I thought it was super pretty. And then I have my Ireland pin, obviously I love my Irish pride, and then this one is actually one of the recent ones I got, it's just the Eiffel Tower with Tinkerbell and butterflies on it, and I thought it was super cute with the little Mickey ears on top. Moving down, we have, uh, just kind of random characters that I didn't know where else to put. So we have a little Pluto Tsum Tsum, which I love, um, a little... Star Wars Easter egg. It's one of the stormtroopers. Um, Olaf, my love. <laughs> um, Jack Skellington, which I thought was super, super cool. He actually came in the eBay pack, and I thought he was super fun. Um, and then we have a little Alice. I think she's kind of like a little, you know, doll. Um, Alice, a little angry Donald, which I thought was just too funny. Um, he was super, super cute. And then Simba. Moving across, I have things I guess kind of related to my my Disney World loves or Disney College program things um so Saratoga this is the old Saratoga pin and I actually I want oh come on focus camera come on there you go um this is the old Saratoga pin and I want to get the new one I should have done it over this most recent trip um but I did not so hopefully I'll pick that up soon um and then I have Porterlings from my first college program uh I believe 
At one point they had like a French Quarter and a Riverside pin. I don't know if they do anymore, but this is just the generic Port Orleans one from when I worked there for my college program. And then, of course, I have some lovely Peter Pan pins because we all know how much I loved working at Peter Pan. I love the ride itself, I just hated the experience. Um, yeah. Then we have Chatham Square. Uh, my mom got this for me, I think, for my birthday, maybe? But, or no, my, you know, my brother got it for me for my birthday. That's right. Um, I love this. They have one for each of the housing complexes. And obviously, y'all know how much I love Chatham. That was where I lived for all three parts of my college programs. And I absolutely adored living there. Um, then I just have a couple of Small World pins. Because obviously, that was my other college program home. I have the one from the 50th anniversary that my parents got me. And then I got this one most recently uh, with the little clock, which I just think is really cute. And those are all kind of related to my college program. So next we get into a few collections. I have these teacups with the princesses on them. I don't know how many of these there actually are. These all came in that eBay pack again. And I just thought they were super cute so I kept them. But um, this is Jasmine, uh, Aurora, Snow White, and then Belle. And then I have started the cupcake pins. I don't have too many of them yet. I just have Goofy and Pluto. I was so mad. I kept forgetting to bring my pins when we went to the parks this last trip. And I saw a Tinkerbell cupcake and I was so mad that I couldn't get it because I didn't have my pins. And then we just have these little flowery ones. These are kind of weird, but I like, I like them. Come on camera, focus. Obviously I'm moving my arm too much or something. Sorry for it being shaky, y'all, but... I have Olaf, because we all know I love Olaf, and Boo, because she is just super, super cute. So moving on, these are, I guess, Pixar characters. I didn't know how else to group them. Um, we have Eve, because she is adorable. This one I thought was hilarious. I got this at Cast Connection. It was like three bucks or something, I think. But it's the Spanish buzz from Toy Story 3. It just says, hi, un amigo. I can't speak Spanish. I apologize. That was horrendous. Hi, un amigo. And I, un amigo and me. Um, and wow. And then I have the otter from Finding Dory. He was in the little pack uh, from eBay and he was super, super cute. Chuckles was the first pin I think I ever traded for. I thought he was hilarious because I've always found him so funny just because of how horrible he looks he's just always so grumpy and then when he gets happy again he's just so cute um and then merida because she is one of my favorite princesses of all time she is awesome then moving over oh i kind of blocked by my birthday pin there we go um i have my figment collection because we all know that i love figment and i love journey into imagination so i have this 2015 pin that is not focusing, but the little flag just says Walt Disney World. Nothing too exciting. Um, this one right here, which is just super colorful. This is Figment along the side. This is one of the first ones I got, I think. I've had this one for a long time. Same with this one. And then this one just says, let your imagination soar. Again, kind of hard to read because my camera is crap. But this one is cute. It's got the Epcot ball, um, fireworks, all that kind of fun stuff. Moving down on the board, we have... Uh, these are kind of like cool ex Disney experiences, here's my air quotes, um, <laughs> that I have had, um, or like, these are pins that I got because of a very special memory. They, like, they, go, I don't know how to explain this, but they go along with a special memory that I have. So, um, I got this pin, this Mrs. Potts and Chip pin when I played Mrs. Potts in high school. It was the only Disney show we ever did, um, and I loved that role. It was so much fun. The Disney Wonder, I got this from our first Disney cruise. Um, I think I've told you guys a story before about how magical that cruise was for me. Um, I sang karaoke, and then they called the cruise director up, and he introduced himself to me and, like, told me to come work for him. And I wrote him a letter thanking him and just asking him, you know, do you have any advice? Because I've always wanted to work for cruise lines. And he wrote me back a two-page, single-space typed letter about all this advice for the business and for cruise lines and all that kind of stuff. And that was actually one of the first times I realized I wanted to be a cast member. So I thought this was a very special pin. Next we have American Idol from when I won the American Idol experience at Disney um, back in 2011 in high school. Then I just have a Disney College program hat, uh, obviously because I love my Disney College program experiences. And then my Candlelight Choir 2014 pin, or Candlelight Cast pin from when I was in the Candlelight Processional Choir uh, in my first college program. 
moving across again I am obsessed with the shoe collection I love this and I again don't know how many there actually are but I have five um, my roommates were super sweet this time around and if they ever saw a shoe they would make sure to trade for me so I could have it um but I have Ariel uh, Snow White Aurora Tiana and Jasmine Tiana and sleeping I'm sorry did I say wait oh yeah Aurora sorry um I'm getting confused Tiana and Aurora I had for my first college program and these three I got this time around um, and I hope to collect the villain shoes as well but whenever I see a shoe I make sure to snag it because I just think they're super cute next I have the Disneyland original tickets I only have two of them um, B and E but I am hoping to find more I think one of these I traded I think E I don't remember which one one of them I traded for and one of them was in the eBay pack I don't remember which one but I just think they're so intricate uh you know with the rides listed on them and stuff and they you know good for choice of one like they're just so detailed and I thought they were just really really cool uh and I like too that you know they have like the Mickey's like freaked out on this one and happy on this one just thought that was really funny so down here in this corner is my ER collection because I absolutely adore Eeyore. He is me in cartoon animal form. Um, and he's just so stinking cute. So I have just a regular Eeyore pin. Um, I like this one because he's actually kind of smiling a little bit, uh, which you don't see him do often, but when you do, it's really special. I have the little baby Eeyore, uh, an Eeyore Tsum Tsum. I think this is the only new one that I have on here. The rest of them I've had for a long time. Um, and then a glittery, sparkly Eeyore. He's just super, super fancy. And then moving across, this is another little collection that I just started. I didn't even realize these were a collection, but then I think I found the Silly Girl one first. I thought it was super cute. Um, and then I found the Maurice, and I was like, these have to be part of the same collection. If not, they're very, very similar. So I have the three Silly Girls, and then I just have Maurice with his invention, and it's actually, it's the popcorn machine, like, in the park, which I think is super cute. So, I have these two. I'm hoping to, I don't even know what other ones are in this collection, so I'm hoping to find more of those. Then down here, I just have my Mickeys. I don't have a ton of Mickey pins, but I think the, these two, I think, were in the same collection. These are both from the eBay pack. Um, and then I have my little uh, Steamboat Willie, super cute. Um, and then I think... I think my last section is this one right down here, which is my Disney Channel section. I have, I think this was the, one of the, this one, and I think this Figment one were the first two pins I ever got. I have the High School Musical one, and then my Jonas Brothers pins, because we all know that I was crazy obsessed with the Jonas Brothers, so I just have a Jonas pin, a Camp Rock pin, and these actually came in a set. It was Nick, Joe, Kevin, and then like a generic Jonas Brothers pin and I think I traded the other ones away because I just didn't care about them which is terrible I still love all of them obviously but Nick was always my bae so I had to keep Nick and I think that is all of my pins it's funny it looks it looked like so much more when it was in the box but now that they're out on the board and spread out they don't look like as much but I actually have kind of a lot um, for me anyway, this is definitely the biggest collection of things that I own. I don't, not really a huge collector, but I love my Disney pins. And obviously <laughs> my Universal pins. But yeah, that is my Disney pin collection. So I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing my updated pin collection. Like I said, I have a decent amount of new ones. Um, and I just think they're so fun. I love seeing people's collections because there's so many different pins out there and it's really cool to see which ones draw different people's eye. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and I will talk to you in my next one. Bye!